right? Shalom. Shalom. Start. You want to get all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, a Kakodash. And the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim teaching his word to the four corners in true sincerity. And we are another week to preach the downfall of his kingdom, which is known as Babylon according to the scriptures. Okay? Let's get ready to happen again. Uh -huh. 
and what we just fell out on to your point about that, how that's going to happen again, because when the scriptures speak about the island, the mountains flooding and the islands moving out of their places. Yeah. So that, that nuclear fire is going to do the same thing with the water did, move, move the islands around, man. <laughs> you know? You got it, brother. Yeah. Uh, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right. You know, and, what, and where's that fire going to come from, man? And get those nuclear missiles that, that Esau had to live for, you know, science and the to make. Okay, so, so, so the Lord's not going to fuck the earth this time. Man, he's going to be fire. You know, which is the question is just going to play on your dirty ass, wicked ass niggas, man. Roaches. All right. <laughs> and that's uh, going to be mainly here in America. Right. It's a script that's called Babylon the Great. You're going to have fire being uh, shot out of different parts of the earth. But this uh, landmass, what they call the uh, United States of America, is going to be totally uh, uh, vaporized, man. Right. And it's going to be a desert for, for all eternity as a memorial of, of what not to be. Exactly. Right. You know, majority, the majority of our people here, man. Let's talk about two thirds. 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 Okay. Yeah, you can find all the tribes here. Exactly. Right, majority of Israel is here. Right. You know, so of course, you know, uh, all those missions for the come here because this judgment, you know, it's for Israel. Who you want to say majority, you know? Not majority. Yeah, not, not no, majority. All, all, all 12 tribes are here yeah. in Babylon. Right, right. and, the, and the, the, the niggas that's here, the most I really got a bone to pick with them. If the most I got you here in Babylon the Great, it's either for two things, either for a salvation, because yeah. this is where the great deliverance is going to come, this is where the truth came out of, yeah. or if not, if not that, then it's going to be a uh, death by, by uh, pain. That's, that's right. right. That's right. I'll put the scripture to the back of brothers up. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So we're still here in captivity, and we know what Exodus 21 and 16 says. You know, if a man, he that steals a man, and he's found in his hand, you know, right. shall surely be put to death. That's in the law. We still found in, in this, this man's hand. Group 3 and 8 says, Yet this day we're in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a, a, a reproach. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing. So we're still in captivity. Right. Okay, we're still here. The tribes, both northern and southern kingdom, we here, man. All right, I'm gonna read the, uh, uh, the 34 verse. It says, "Their redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon." Okay, so the 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 the, 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 the inhabitants of Babylon is gonna be disquieted, man. All right, at the end of the day, this is going to be done away with, man. Only, only animals are going to dwell in this place. The Lord have a plan for this place, man. And we read it in the scripture. Only it's, it's certain, going to be certain, dwell, uh, dwelling no more. Certain, certain, certain animals. animals. Certain yeah. animals. The desert creatures. Desert creatures. Well, owls, satires. You know. Right. I got a, a quick one for you right now, I wrong. This is second, uh, Zechariah chapter 2. So uh, Zechariah chapter 2 of 6. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Lord, deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that touched you touches the apple of his eye. God would have been alive, man. So called black side children of America, man. And in that, the effect, man. Okay, so you don't touch the effect, man. The, 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 innocent, the innocent, you know, the innocent, okay, in the, in the, in the eyes of the Lord, man. Okay. Because, because the scriptures tell you that the elect are going to be found blameless. You know, not saying that we, we don't sin, but you know what I'm saying? We all sin. You know what I'm saying? But in the eyes of the Most High, the elect are, are blameless because they have been, um, Yahweh's blood has covered them. You know? But you gotta, uh, Fine. And, and, you know, Keith Point said that the Lord scattered us through the four winds of heaven. So you got our people all around the world. But then it said, 
uh, delivered us of Hosea and that dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. So although our people are throughout the four heavens, the great deliverance is going to come from where? Babylon the Great. Yep. You know, that's how we know that we are the Israelites. Well, who is Babylon? America. Who was slaves here in America, you know, primarily? Who built this place with the blood, sweat, and tears? Okay, who was this land stolen from? Yeah. All right, it, it, it all adds up. Yeah, these are historical facts. You know, this is not something that, that's debatable. The historians know all this. They wrote, wrote books about it and all. I had a precept uh, going into the brother which says how, how you know the children the children of Israel is the apples of the, uh, of the, of the apple of the Lord's eye. Right, and then when you go into that word apple, it, it says pupil. Okay. So what if, you know, the most I'm saying, you fuck with my people, that's why you trying to poke, poke me in my eye, man. Right. And your pupil, was, was, that's where you see from. Right. So, so the Lord is basically saying we are the center of his uh, attention. Yep. We're his, his primary focus. That's right. right. That's right. We like, don't care about these other nations. That's right. Because if, if somebody is, if, you, if, your, if your neighbor knows that's your wife and he's provoking, he's fucking with her, they're basically fucking with you. Because that's your wife. Right. That's your your family, you know? That's your property. Exactly. Let me come so it's the same out. thing. Yeah, he saw know who, 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 who he were coming over here. He knew he was going to go get the Israelites. Yeah, Christopher, right. Crystal Ball Cologne had a Hebrew interpreter with him. He knew what time it was. To back exactly. you up, to back you up. That's, that's, a part of the, that's, that's a part of the law where it says, uh, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Because that's, that's, that's your property. So you're not supposed to covet that. You know? But uh, the scripture I was holding is um, Isaiah 61 and verse 9. It says, Their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. So at the end of the day, yeah, we the apples of the Lord I, man. We okay. that uh, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 9. It says, and, then, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. That's going to be ultimately the kingdom. Huh? That's, you know, people are seeing it now, but ultimately, see, the people are going to see it after the destruction. Yeah. Because what's the Solomon 5 goes into that. Right. See, they're not, everybody's not going to acknowledge that we are the true sons of the living power right now. That's talking about the kingdom of heaven. It's gonna start on this side right. when when the destruction comes, when all hell break when they take a shovel hit, okay, and they see everybody catching uh, nothing but complete and utter hell. Yep. And then you're gonna have a certain men that, that was out here teaching and preaching, all right, who you thought was crazy, you thought was bugged out, you thought we were in a cult. Yep. You see those men with a glow around them, yep. all right. You see those men rejoicing yep. and laughing. <laughs> Them and their families, people yep. with them, yep. you know, no, it, it seems like just no hell is it's, it's catching uh, on them, right. right? And then you're going to see the ships come, the chariots come, and even, uh, you know, beam your brothers up. Yep. And before that, you, you're going to see miracles being performed by certain men, yep. right. you know? Because yep. yep. the scripture said he will give us praise and fame in all the lands we were brought to shame. That's right. right. The Lord also said was that in Hosea, all right, roughly paraphrasing that uh, in, in the lands where it was said, you are not the children of Moses, out there shall it be said that, you know, you are the sons of the Most High. Right, so, but, oh, yeah, ultimately it's going to be in the kingdom. They're going to have no support, no choice, no doubt about it. But it's, it's, it's starting on this side. Right. Yeah, I hold that scripture for you. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 16, and verse 73. It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. And so that's talking about when shit is defined, man. Okay? When these burger troops are rolling in, you know? This is what we're being prepared for. Okay? While the rest of these people are going to be blinded because they haven't sought the Lord. They haven't sought the counsel of the Lord. So they're going to be in darkness, as the scriptures say. When they say, it starts here. Right. It starts here, man. All right? Because, hey, how, how, how retarded could you be if you see all hell breaking loose and all hell happening and you see this individual eating and drinking and rejoicing? Something's so click in your mind, okay, you know, this got to be a man of God. Or this is, this is somebody special. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know. Bring the song to five. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna start now. Bro. And they're gonna see it. They're gonna see it on you because you're gonna have a, a glow about yourself. Right. You know? But just just like just like real soon they're gonna know that hey, uh, there has been a prophet among uh, above us. They're gonna know, okay, and, and that was a man of the Lord. Right. right. That's a man of the Lord. And there you go. But Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. You gotta start up. Wow. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. It says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. But they will not do them, for with their mouth they shall shoot much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness. Uh, and lo, lo, lo are unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and could play well on the instrument. They hear thy words, and it's good enough. And to the point, and when this, and when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And that's what we're talking about most people. Oh, and that's what we're talking about people. Right? And, you know, because they see us higher, you know, what they, what they choose to do is not an argument. You know, when the time when the time to the bed, they feel like, ah, what they were saying was right, man. Right? That's what they know. They should know that a prophet was among them, man. Right? But, right. y'all this, this is entertaining, man. Right? You think we are for a joke? You know, they, they teach the Bible, they scream me. Ah, it's, it's funny. It's funny to them, man. If, when, when you can't, when you can't eat, you can't feed your family. Okay, when, when your children tell you, "Oh, daddy, I'm hungry," <laughs> then, then you don't know. Oh, damn. That was, a, that was a prophet. Yeah, but I should have said, "Fuck, I should have." Listen, after he told you that you were gonna starve, right? There ain't gonna be no food out here. He thought it was a joke, right? Yep. Right. 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 Hey, 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 this shit ain't no fucking game. This shit ain't no fucking game. Ain't no fucking game. Motherfucker got a mounted, a mounted, uh, I think that was a 50 cal on the back of his truck. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, it looked like, look like a, a model of it. But yeah, these the Edomites, know, they got yeah. shit like yeah. that. But even if it ain't real, they showing you the times that we coming well, in. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, like, spirit. that's the spirit, though. <laughs> on the pickup truck, how many times we brought a bitch that a long time ago, man? When all hell breaks, we just gonna have these Edomites with their F 150s and shit. With, with mounted yep. turrets on the back of their fucking truck, mm -hmm. gunning people down, yep. man. I'm gunning you so called Nicos, Latinos, Latinos and Native Americans down. That's the time yep. we come in this room, man. This ain't no fucking game, man. You keep fucking playing around. We tell you that these damn Edomites about to go crazy. What's they pushing in the news? All this uh, replacement theory, okay? They, they, these devils, they believe they being uh, taken over, man. Yep. They see their kingdom falling, yep. and they not happy about that shit. They getting ready to oh. bug the hell out, man. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're going yep. to see it more and more. More and more. Yep. More and more you're going to see. Look at all these shootings that happen in Buffalo, okay? Texas, you know? All over the yep. place, man. And, 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 and these upper echelon Edomites, the ones that rule the world, they pushing an agenda. They, they want your guns, and Esau ain't having that. Right. So what, what, you already know what Esau going to do. Esau strapping up, baby. And you Jay's gonna get caught up in that, man. Hey, at the end of the day, that's, that's the prophecy because the scriptures speak about that. Uh, scripture, uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 12 says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We seen that, man. People ain't got no love in these streets, okay? We got love among the brotherhood, all right? Because we're the street, we, we, where we should be, okay? We, in, we, we abide in the love of the fear of the Lord. Okay, the brotherhood, the body, but outside of Yahweh Bar Shimmy Al Shai, these people don't got no love. But that's the prophecy, because iniquity is abounding. Uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and just know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. If you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous, hard, fierce, savage, hard to do. Why? Because everybody in iniquity out here, man. If you're outside of this truth, Okay, if you're standing without the truth, that means you it's no gray areas. The Lord say, uh, 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 he that is not with me is against me. He that gathereth not with me scattered abroad, so it's no gray areas. If you're outside of this, that means you're in wickedness, man. You have to repent. It's about to get crazy out here. 
you got to repent. Okay, Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. We can't say that enough, man. We say it all the time. You know why? To the spirit of the Lord about you, my child. You're not going to have an excuse in that day. You've been warned. Because we sent unto you. Right? We sent unto the people of this time, man. Every week we come and week out, week out. You know, putting up those epistles on, on the YouTube for you to hear this word. Because at the time when the Lord did, it's when the Lord returned, and even before that, all hell is going to break loose. The Lord said he's going to find the flame. Okay? Well, he's finding it now. Right. He's finding the flame now. He <laughs> said, so I've come to set fire, but what would I even be already kindled? Right? You got it, brother. Now, this is Jeremiah 30 and 4. It says, and these are the words that the Lord Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord Yahweh, we have heard of we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. All right, so peace is not coming, man. If you're so overruled, you can turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shad. You know, seeing the, seeing the time and seeing the, uh, the attitude that these devils in, you can repent, man. So the world can protect you. I ask you now to see whether a man doth rebel with child. And wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into pounders. Right, you have Niggas, you know, calling for mommy and shit, you know, being scared, man. Like that nigga, um, what's that nigga that the police killed? Yeah. Frank, no, oh, Freddie Gray. George Floyd. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep, George Floyd. Barabbas. <laughs> hey, but we, how in the fuck do you want us to feel sympathy for you niggas? When brothers have risked their lives, man. Men that came before us in the truth risked their lives, risked family. Fuck you niggas, man. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. The key shall be saved out of you. And that's talking about the elect, man. And you know, the rest of you niggas ain't fuck you, man. Okay, because you, you don't want to come out and serve you out by shit around shot. You, hey, you deserve to die, man. It's good to say you don't want to serve the Lord, you know, whether you know, man or woman, they ain't going to die, man. Okay, if you're a child, you know, if you're Oh, oh, speaking of the child, not, not to cut you off, brother. Those children that died in that school, whether it was. Okay, I'm not saying that it was real. I'm not saying that it was fake. But regardless of the situation, you're gonna see that play out in real, th real time. Right in front of you. Real little children, little little babies. Shit, shit, shit like that go, go, on, go on in uh, these, uh, uh, what, like Afghanistan and shit like that. Man, they fucking blow up schools, man. All right? Oh, Girls still blow up schools. That's right. So, well, uh, you. Well, this, shit, this shit coming down here. Man. Exactly. But, 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 see, what the elites, the elites are pushing everybody into a corner and y'all gonna have to just kill each other. That's what's going about to happen. Yeah. Rashing off a little bit of food in the start. And guess what? Esau's sick ass gonna sit back and literally watch you because he got cameras all over the place. You think these elites gonna be, they gonna be watching niggas like the purge. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, he's stabbing them. He eat them. He's gonna be drinking blood. <laughs> you know? Praising Satan. Right. Doing rituals. <laughs> See, y'all think when we say, y'all think, oh my God, these, these people got some diabolical shit for you niggas, man. It's, it's in y'all movies. You can literally sit down and watch all the purges. Everything we fucking talk about, you see it in the movies. But who's dying in the purges? Jay. <laughs> We're gonna purify this nation. Well, that's what Klaus Schwab wanna do. Klaus Schwab, they talking about a carbon, what you eat? Where, where are you going? What are you eating? How are you getting there? So you, you Jakes, man, you have been warned. <laughs> I got a quick one. This is Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 14. It says, therefore, pray not for, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or cry for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So the Lord, the Lord said to pray not for this people, man, I talked about you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man, okay? We sent out to you, and if you don't repent, that's on you, man. The Lord said, I pray not for you, man, okay? Because you all, you hear the word, you pass the camps all the time, all right? You're not gonna have the excuse in that day and in that time, man, all right? When this, when this grace period is over with, and the Lord decides to visit you, all right? You're gonna be on your own, and it's just gonna be judgment. So we, we lift up, we, we're not lifting up prayers for you, we ain't gonna cry for you, man. 
we're going to, in fact, we're going to laugh. Okay? That's what it says in uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, man. The Lord said he's going to laugh. All right? Right. It's not, it's not like we ain't tell you. So why, so why wouldn't we laugh? Yeah? The Lord will put a spirit on us to laugh. So that's really the Lord laughing. Yeah. See, I'm fucking told you last already. Man. It's like I'm telling somebody some shit. You know, a hundred, a hundred fucking times, man. Okay, now we go, we go see. The Lord will make a stop and we just go watch. We just go watch the shit play out. Yeah, we got that The Lord is going to laugh. He's 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 going to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right. Hey, the Lord got some shit planned for you, niggas, man. Okay, you, you think you didn't see some nigga die because he got shot. Yeah. The Lord, hey, the Lord know how to torture people, man. Right. You know, right. Look what happened in the, in the flood, man. That's right. The Lord got, you know that so well, a thousand ways to fucking die. The Lord got infinite, infinite ways to fucking That's right. die, man. That's right. Well, one well, of his titles is the king of Paris.
Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Because that's what we're going through right now. We're being chastised. Right? Lord willing, we are the elect. We, right, we're going through this, uh, this purification process with something that we have to do so that we don't catch the ultimate judgment with these people. We're being chastised right now so that we don't be destroyed later. These people, they're not being chastised now so that they can be uh, destroyed later. We're going through this fire now so we don't need to go to the ultimate fire. Right. 18. Or he make you sore and bind it up. He wounded and his hands make hold. Right, so the most high Yahweh, the son Yahweh Shai controls both sides. He, 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 a scripture tells us in 45, uh, he make, make peace and create evil. Right. So these people, when any look, the most crazy, bugged out shit you ever seen, you say, oh, the devil did it. You know, they, 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 really what they're doing is giving praise to Satan. Right. Okay? But they don't know, they don't understand that the most high controls Satan. He gives Satan the order on, on do this to do that. Satan gives the, the rest of the, the uh, left hand angels, all right, uh, things to do. It's, it's order, okay? Uh, Satan not doing whatever you want to do. It's the most I control him. So any crazy, bugged out shit you ever seen, them children getting shot up in, in the school, supposedly. Yeah. All right, see children getting hit by cars, babies dying, all type of the most bugged out shit you could ever think of. The Lord did that. The most I made it happen, man. That's something to back you up right quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now, I, but I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Who can deliver out of the hand of the Lord, man? You can't deliver to the hand of the most high your power, man. Right. Okay? Once he once he makes up in his mind that he wants to put a type of judgment on a certain person, there's nobody, nobody in the heavens gonna even dare to try to right. step in unless you of the elect, Yahweh Shai gonna, gonna say, Lord, please, you know, have mercy on him. Right. But if it ain't for that, yo, yo ass is grass, right. right. you know. Right. If I may bring this out right quick, brother. Uh, this is Psalm 115, verse 3. But our God is in the heavens. He hath he ha done whatsoever he hath pleased. So we got to interrupt So we'll do whatever, whatever the fuck you want, man. There's nobody that can say anything against what the Lord want to do. So if the Lord want to kill, kill certain people, you know, they go die, man. Right. Okay, no matter no matter who you is, unless the British said, unless they cry the elect, then your house shall come through. You know, but hey, if you're just a regular, you know, two-third nigga, you go die, man. Hey, it, it's the Lord's movie. He's the director. He write all the scripts. Right. <laughs> Right. You know, children, children dying, that's, that's that they, the Lord did that, man. That's why we say, go out of y'all by Shimon Shah. I got another one. This is Psalm, one, Psalm 145, verse 17. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is righteous in all his ways. So the most I was the most I was justified in killing little kids and babies, man. Who, who, the, who the fuck are we to tell the Most High? No, please. The Most High was going to kill Moses, man. Right. So who the fuck are we? He, made it, he was about to do it. Right. You know? <laughs> and his wife, Sarkio, circumcised. Yeah. Oh. Hey, the Lord's a very, like, circumcised. Yeah, circumcised. Hey, the Lord's a very powerful, you know, hey, that, hey that's a very terrible power, man. Very, a very austere. Right. Power, very austere God, right, man. Austere power. He's, he, he don't, he, most of don't take no bullshit, man. Right. <laughs> Moses didn't make it to the promised land, man. Right. He led them there, but he couldn't, he couldn't go. Here it is, Moses did what, what the most I wanted him to do. But he, that one, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was written that way, but that goes to show you, you're supposed to, really that put fear on Israel, that's supposed to make you scared. See, the Most High wants you to, to show him reverence. He wanna, that's why he make examples out of people. So you won't die. That's right. I had a little more on that, Joel. We can it, step in and break it down in time. It's Joel, back in Joel chapter 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yeah, in seven, 
there shall no evil touch thee. Son, and that's one for the elect, man. Okay, they're going to they go through troubles. Even, even within those troubles, they're going to be living in the classroom, man. I mean, what's, what's the story of Christmas? Okay, the Christmas is not going to touch, touch the member they, touch a member of the elect. They're going to be straight throughout the whole thing. You know, yeah, they're going to they go through the afflictions. You know, but ultimately, they're going to get delivered, man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. That's right. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Verse 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Okay. So, so you brothers that are worried, don't fucking worry, man. What's going on? Don't worry about that shit, man. You think the Lord gonna starve you out? You done did his work? Right. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. So even be a thought like that come to your mind, man. I was with you. That's, that's what the, um, those jakes in the wilderness was doing. Provoking the Lord. Oh, you let us out here to die, Moses. We can't eat. In Egypt, we had this, we had that. You feel me? Right. Like the Lord can't easily drop food from the heavens on you. Right. Exactly. You know? Right. And that's exactly why the Most High killed those niggas, man. It wasn't because they knew, they didn't, they didn't know the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation. Right. It wasn't that. It was because they didn't believe in him. Right. You brothers ain't got to know the whole Bible from front to back. But you, faith. Yes. You have to believe in him. Yes. Which is the most I call you to be a prophet, you, 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 to the best of your ability, you better be trying to figure it out from the back. But we get what the brother, the point the brother is making, man. Ultimately, we're going to be saved by faith. Right. Yeah, the, the, the Lord wants you to move and walk with faith and walk with confidence that you know that you're going to eat. Even if you go five, six days without eating, you still got to have that confidence to know that you're going to eat. Because that's what he said. Okay? The Lord is bound by his words, man. All right? So you got to have that confidence. That's why the Lord said to, uh, to practice fasting, man. Okay? Because there might be a, a time that you don't eat for a day or two or three. But what you going to do? Give up faith because you ain't eat for four days? No, you're going to eat. You're going to eat. The Lord said you're going to eat. They gotta keep pushing, man. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna eat, man. I don't Look, man. We, we, Israelites, we ain't even got enough money to fucking prep, bro. Right. To really prep, like for real, for real, you need bread. You need a lot of to, to really prep, like the brother said. You need a lot of money, a lot of resources. You need connections. Right. Bro, we got maybe a week's worth of food in our house, if that, bro. Right. Right. Two weeks at the max. Right. So, what the fuck can we do? Right. We can't do shit. <laughs> That's why we have to stay up on the Lord. That's it. You know, so you go, oh my, don't fuck, don't wrestle yourself, man. That that that's beyond your pay grade. Right. And that's how you're supposed to know in the back of your mind that you need, you need the Savior. Okay. Right. Tell me that kind of day. When the lions going to have him came and gave him the food, man. We need Yahweh Ba Shem man. We need our Savior. Right. Okay? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think Hebrews 6 and 10 is written for? Alright? The Lord is not elected to get your work and labor and love. The Lord sees you putting in time. Alright? The Lord ain't a nigga. Ain't. The Lord ain't gonna see you putting in time and then we're all hell break loose. Fuck this nigga. Yeah, man. You, gonna, you gonna die the worst way. Right. That's the worst, one of the worst ways to die, man. Right. Oh, the Lord's gonna fall, oh, man. And you yeah. just might do it, nigga. If you think it like that. You've been doing what you had to do, not nothing. You been doing what you had to do, then when all hell break you, ah, well, oh my eat. God, man, oh. Lord, really with me? You, you breaking your bread? Right. Look, that food that those Edomites got, that's for you, man. That's for you and your family. Yep. All right, brothers, don't worry about that, man. That food, whoever, whoever prepping, who, that's for you, man. That's right. They showed you that in the movie The Road. You know? Yep. When the, when the man and his son, they stumbled across a bunker full. Ooh, man. Right. And they, they had it eaten in days. Uh, uh, hey, let me show you how bad the most high is, man, this son. These motherfuckers out prepping, getting your favorite food, man. Right. They in the grocery store. Ooh, I never tried this before, but guess what? That's your favorite food. The most high cold like that, man. He loves you. Hey, you think somebody that loves you gonna say, oh, yeah, I ain't feeding that nigga. Nah. <laughs> Come on, man. That's what you say, hey man, with the most high, with the most high, all things are possible. That's right. So right. you can be alone. Hey, the Lord done teleported me. All right? And etc. Come on, man. 
<laughs> hey, don't put the Lord in a box, boy. All right, Lord. Don't do it. Goddamn. This is the book of Bell of the Jagged, chapter 1, verse 33. Now there was a jury, a prophet called Habakkuk, who made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go carry the dinner that thou hast in Babylon unto Daniel, who was in the lion's den. So this man, Habakkuk, fixed food. He was going to go feed it to the reapers, which are the, the people in the field working. Okay? They was reaping the crops. But the angel of the Lord said, no, 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 that's not for them. Okay? So the most I can put the spirit on anybody that's to do right. anything at any time at the drop of a dime. That's right, because he's the father of spirits. At the drop of a dime. One second. One second he was carrying it. <laughs> Let it, it. Yeah. And the scriptures down, man. You got one. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Oh, don't don't worry on, about man. it. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. don't worry I have about a brother it. in Australia. Uh -huh. Get teleported to Babylon to feed you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Go ahead, read, read that again. From that from that part. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon. Bro, he didn't even know where Babylon. He didn't even know where he was going. But go ahead. Neither do I know where the den is. 36. Then the angel of the Lord even, took even, him by the crown. Even, even if he knew where it was, he don't know where the den is. Exactly. What, what? Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head. He grabbed him by his head. <laughs> That's what that means. Go ahead. And through the vehemency of his spirit, Set him in Babylon over the den. He teleported him. <laughs> and he was in the den. <laughs> With the body. <laughs> still, still warm. Instant transmission. Right. Now, now, mind you, have a cool. He in the light. He's looking at lions, bro. <laughs> right. Go ahead, you got it, bro. Hold on. 37. And have a cool cry, saying, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner with. The most high that power has sent me. He cries, yo, can you get this shit? <laughs> Lord, bought you some food, man, take it. Bro. And that bought them out. Yeah. Because, right. you know, the Lord tell you to do something. Yeah. And you, you make an excuse. Lord, I don't know. Yeah. Lord, is it? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But, but that goes to show you about uh, Moses. Uh -huh. Moses went to start making excuses. I can't speak more. Right. I'm going to. And the Lord was getting a little hot. Right, the Lord don't like that shit. He don't like, like when you brothers brought up. You, 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 with the Lord, if all things are possible. There you go. So you ain't, ain't, ain't supposed to question the Lord mm -hmm. at, at any point. Right. No matter how crazy my bugged out it may sound, right. the Lord can easily do it. That's right. Easy. Yep. 38. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O God. Whoa, 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 read that again. Thou, thou hast what? And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me. Oh thou God. hast remembered me. Thou hast remembered me. See, the right. Most High is not going to forget you. Right. He's not going to forget no member of the elect. None, not one. I promise you, brother. That's right. If he did, he would be unrighteous. That's right. But say he is not unrighteous to forget your word and labor of love. See, that's what the word going into scarce. The righteous are scarce. But when you work on to the word scarce, it means back, uh, at the, the, the book. Roughly paraphrased, the, the skin of your teeth, barely. Yep. So just when you could be down there, like, like just about to, something about to happen to the Lord, he gonna come, he gonna come through. Hey, that's standard. That's just, I was about to quote Isaiah 59 and 19. Right. All right, they will come as a flood and Lord will lift up the standard. Right. You know, that's what's gonna make the deliverance that much greater. That's right. It's gonna, in the flesh, it's gonna look like you through. Yep. Right. It's gonna look like it's, it's over, yep. you're done. Right. Going down. You ain't gonna make it out of this one. Uh -huh. right. right when, you know, right when it look like that, boom! Yep. Most yep. gonna work a miracle. That's very climactic. Right. That's where Esau get his uh, 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 um, 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 ideas from. Yep. From the Most High, because the Most High is very climactic. Like that's, that. that's how brothers gonna be saved, man. You gonna see the fire. You gonna see the, the, the missiles coming. You gonna see chariots flying around. That's right. All right. Big balls of fire uh -huh. going around. <laughs> then yep. you gonna see the fire coming to you. The missiles. 
missile might drop now too far from you. Uh -huh. You gonna see the fire coming. Nice. You gonna, and then right when it look like you about to be burnt, the most I gonna send the, the beam. He can do it like how he did with Daniel uh -huh. and, and the, uh, I mean with Shadrach. You you the 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 right. Now that he, he put like a a, a, a world of uh, cold water around him uh -huh. so that the fire didn't touch him. Right. And then you know. Uh -huh. Right. Being up. Yep. In the blink of an eye, that's what the scriptures say. In the blink of an eye, you're going to be changed. Right. Before you, you know it, boom, yep. you're going to be on a chariot or oh, with a new body. Yep, 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 you yep, know, yep, looking yep. down at the, at the uh, America burning, man. That's right. going to blow your mind, man. Quick. That's going to blow your mind. You're going to be so happy, man. That's, right. that's what the scriptures say. The remnant were afraid. That's, right. that's right, brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, I can go ahead. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O God. Neither has thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Now, who who, who told that scripture? The most I thou forgive you for your words and labor of love? No, 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 Go ahead, read, read that again, the last part. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O God, neither has thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Neither that hast thou forsaken them that seeketh him. Right. Ooh. Hey, the, the scripture <laughs> says, uh, so, so, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as the, the second chapter, the tenth verse, it said that. Whoever, whoever uh, the Lord has forsaken, uh, forsaken right. will call on his name, man. There you go. You will find nil, none, zero. <laughs> Those that trusted in the Lord, and hey, the scriptures say our health is in the name of the Lord, man. You think Daniel wasn't praying to the Most High? Of course. You prayed to him, boy. That's when you were the lion's den, you prayed. That's fair, because I was about to say that, see? Even when shit hit the fire over here, we out here doing the work, but guess what? You know we're strong believers, but we're going to be in Prayer, we're gonna be continually, heavy prayer. Right. heavy prayer. And brothers gonna be praying for each other. Uh, That's right. We got a quick piece of brother. Oh. Y'all talking about prayer, right? This is First John chapter three, verse twenty-two. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him, because we keep His commandments and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. Uh -huh. All right. And we doing what we have to do now, man. We doing what's pleasing in the Lord's sight now, man. We preaching the word, man. Okay. So when all hell breaks loose, we are gonna pray, and our prayer is gonna be answered. All right, before all hell breaks loose, shit, we pray now when our prayers be answered, man. All right? Yep. Show you, show you the Lord is with us, man. That, that's why. Right. He's, he's, he's building up your faith now, so when the time comes, you yes. have no doubt. Yes. Yes. 100% doubt. Right. You're going to need 100% faith. Yeah, we going to need that. We are we going to need that. Yep. Speaking of all, so us and you brothers too. Now listen, and you sisters, man. Yep. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord showing you different things, the Lord delivering you from different things, and etc. So when that time comes, I know I know the most I will. Right. right. I know the Father and the Son will. That's right. You know, you better. You're going to have to know. Right. Yep. yep. If you don't know. Boy. It's gonna be rough for you, boy. Because your mind is gonna condemn you. Your conscience is gonna condemn you, man. That's why you gotta get fortified now. Grace for what's what you see coming. Faith, man. Faith. Uh, it's, go ahead, Jamar. It's a Psalm chapter 9, verse 9. It says the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed and a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, the Lord, has not forsaken them that seek. Ooh. And you go to that real refuge, that goes to um, it goes to um, shelter, man, and safety. You know, the Lord can put a shelter over us and the Lord can protect us. How about his angels? The Lord going the Lord is gonna put the angels to protect you. The Lord can have um you have spirit of power. Well, hey, right. let's protect you. Yeah, the Lord can put a spirit on the Edomite to protect you, man. These, these Rambo-ass Edomites, you in particular situations, the Edomite just come and, 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 and kill everybody around you, it's just the same. That's how the Lord deals, man. He deals with spirits. That's it, he's the father of the spirits. That's it. You know? Like Jacob put the Lord in the box, and, that, and, that, and that's a problem, man. Well, that's what the niggas in the wilderness did. They put the most high in the box after they done seen Oh, uh, what he had done. So he right, killed them, man. Right. Yeah, he he, kill, he killed them. He said, I'm, I, I got to get uh, I do I away with those I things. I done all this works and y'all still don't believe. You still don't believe. I done show all this works. The fact that Israel, that we're still here is a miracle. Because we've been eating poison since we've been alive. Poison. Injected, yep. eating poison, everything. Yep. We still, we still eating poison to right. a certain extent, bro. Yep. And we're still alive. We're still somewhat... What they call somewhat healthy, you know? 
legend that glory, rock me for the phrase, the legend that glory is, glory is in this, that he knows the heavenly father. You have to know the Lord, that he's a balanced power. He creates peace, right, and evil. You can't put the Lord in a box, man. So whenever evil is happening, or if you're surrounded with evil, the Lord has no Hey, 
ultimately, we're doing it to be saved, man. All right? We're doing what we got to do to please the Lord so we can be saved, man, so we can save our family, so we can eat and drink in the time to come. All right? We ain't doing this for no damn reason, bro. For real. All right? We know it's a reward that comes with this. So, hey, we want to partake of, partake of the rewards. Salvation comes with this. Being, part, being, being, being a part of the first resurrection. Eating and drinking. All right? Receiving the crown. That's right, bro. All right? It's different things that the Lord said he going to give us. All we got to do is just, all we got to do is just please the Lord, bro. And do what's required of us, man. Hebrews 11 and 6. Right. Got it? Bring it out. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you got to believe that the most high is. And you got to believe that he's going to reward you if you truly diligently seeking him. It makes me think of uh, when Peter, after, uh, you know, Peter asked uh, Yahweh Shai, Lord, we have forsaken all, uh, all right, and, and what we going to get? You know, if somebody, you know, that's not learned, somebody not in the spirit would think, oh, he wrong for asking that question. Oh, no, you're just supposed to do what he say and not expect none of that. No, actually, that was a righteous question. Uh, if he was seeking a reward. The most high, the scripture tell you that it's the most high's good pleasure. Uh, Yahweh Shai said it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Right. So you're supposed to be looking for a reward, man. Right. You do a job, you, you, you're, after the job, you, you seek to get paid, right? right. Who the fuck goes on a job and work eight hours, bust their ass, you know? Right. Or, or fucking 40 hours, because you know, now that you get paid at the week of 80 right. hours, right. then you, you know, you just walk off the job, everybody go lining up and get paid, you walk off and, and right. all right, I'm, I'm going, I ain't finna get paid. That, that, that also shows you the love of the Lord and the righteousness of the Lord because the Lord could have said anything. But what did he do? He answered Peter's question. Because he's a righteous, he's a righteous man. He answered Peter. Yeah, he answered him roughly, he rebuked him. Right. He said, no, nah, man, just right. do what the fuck I said. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, you're wicked. Why are you thinking about, you know? Yeah, yeah. he didn't say, tell me, I was shot, man. Right. Be quiet. Right. Yeah. Right. You gonna get what you gonna get. Yeah, you gonna get you gonna get whatever I give. Right. You gonna get what I give. Right. Yeah, he gave the breakdown, right. man. Because you gotta when you read the, the scripture, you gotta put yourself in those men's shoes. You gotta visualize what happened. Those men literally left their lives, their wives, their children. They they left to follow him. They straightway dropped whatever they had going on and followed Yahweh Shai. So that. They was just like, damn, you know? Yeah, Lord, remember, like, remember, <laughs> uh, the Lord is leading by example, man. You you got to live in this world. It yeah. starts with the Lord, okay? The scriptures speak about the unrighteous judge, okay? okay? The Lord said if, if the unrighteous judge is going to defend this woman, what do you think about the Lord? Yeah. And he's righteous, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord lead by example, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, bro. John chapter 14, verse 1, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the most high, believe also in me. And that's what we gotta do. That's it. Well, what do you mean, huh? Verse 2, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not I would have told you if I go to prepare, prepare a place for you. Uh, Yes, that, that's it. The Lord is our example, man. That's why the scriptures speak about being perfect, you know, as the Heavenly Father. You know, you trying your best. Trying to put your best foot forward, man. You know, when you go into, uh, 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 what's that? Uh, Hebrews 11 and 5 it speaks about Enoch. How, how his testimony was to please the Lord. Therefore, he was translated and was not found. Oh, go ahead, brother. Hebrews 11 and 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. Right, and that's why we put our best foot forward, okay? Giving diligence to make our call and election sure. Because why? That's what we want. We want to hear come up hither. That's something every brother in the faith want to hear. Come up hither. That's right. We want to be delivered out of the hands of our enemies. Okay, somebody hold that. Get our... Chapter 1, Psalm 68. Okay. Right. 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 Right.
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, that you may be also. Lord, that's his name, man. Yeah, I was shy, man. He saved. He wants, he wants to, uh, to be in the kingdom with us. He don't want to be up by himself. You know? He said, next time he's going to drink wine, it's with his brothers. Right? 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 Right?
So you got guys talking about you're gonna die and you're gonna be oh, just me back, back, back up in the kingdom. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, brother. You don't know what you're talking about, man. This, this right here, after this, it's forever, eternity, man. That's right. That's it, baby. That's, right. That's it. <laughs> immortal means immortal. There you go. Immortal. Cannot die, man. Ain't gonna be you going up in the spirit world for a period of time. No. Nope, nope, nope. We can't, we can't truly be joint heirs if, if y'all. We can't really, we can't really be joint heirs if y'all shot. We're gonna fucking die, man. Right. <laughs> That's a beautiful point. Say it again. We, can't, we really can't be joint heirs if y'all shot. We're gonna die. That don't make sense. So if y'all shot, he gonna live forever, but his men around and they all gonna fuck off and die? Right. Come on, man. <laughs> if I may say salak, you got it, brother. Yeah, Hawasha is not a snake oil salesman, man. He tells us to follow him, and we will receive everlasting life, man. That's right, he means man. it. That's right. He ain't gonna tell you to follow him and sacrifice your life, give up your life for him, and he go and he gonna jip you on everlasting life. It's really everlasting life. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. Thank you, bro. Like that's that, like, that's so the most high gotta go into a lab and say, oh, you know, I'm working my brain so everybody you can live forever. No, at the snap of a finger, you you gonna be forever, man. You gonna live forever. The reason why you that the re, really the reason why you we we trapped inside of a, a, a wicked ass body. Right. That's why we die. Cause, cause we wicked, really. Then those new bodies are gonna be perfect. So ain't gonna. We ain't, we ain't gonna die, man. You ain't gonna die. You gonna have a perfect body. You ain't gonna be. Matter of fact, going into the new covenant, you're not even gonna be able to sin. Right, so ain't gonna be no, no ways to death. Man. Gonna, you ain't gonna be in the kingdom thinking about adultery and thinking of all these wicked ass thoughts in your mind. He said he's gonna put it in you, man. Right. Hey, the Lord made a promise, man. Okay, and, we believe, and we believe that promise more than sin. scripture what I quoted before. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. So the Most High made the Israelite man to be immortal. That's talking about the Israelite man, not the heathens. The heathens, they, they were never, they ain't gonna live forever. He initially created Adam to live forever. Jake kept on sinning and sinning. He kept cutting the lifespan down. Right. That goes to show you the most high. He controls how long you can live, man. Right. He said, oh, man, I'm cutting it down to 120. Oh, I'm cutting it down to 80. And 80 was stripped to 70. You know what I'm saying? He just kept cutting it. Right, yeah, man, back then living 900 years. 900 years. You had uh, Moses 120. Uh, uh, jo Joshua, he was up in age. Maybe I think he was 80. He still said he had his strength with him, man. He said he could still go to war. Come on, man. We, we, man, this is the lowest state we've ever been in as a, as a, as a nation, man. Start getting weak and shit. Yep. Yep. We, we, we 
He's not going to know whether he's going to live or die when we wake up in the morning and we yawn. Oh, you look a certain way, you know? Well, that's how Esau did us. When Esau woke up in the morning and saw us, he did whatever he wanted to do. His wisdom in Solomon chapter 2 and 23. I just read that. Go ahead, go ahead. In Solomon 2 and 23, for the most I created man to be immortal, and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil, came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it. Right, so this is like man was supposed to be immortal people. Because, we, because of sin, okay, because we kept going on as a nation, okay, hey, now, now we, we die, man. Yep. Okay, you got Jay got, nah, Jay got sicknesses, Jay go in uh, up in age, you know. It's not supposed to be like that, man. It's not supposed to be no sin as an elderly, elderly old man, weak and shit. Bro, they created the create Israel that man to be like that. They said, they said, but through envy of the devil, all right? I read it again. But through envy, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Who's the devil? So called white man, he saw Edom. And, and what they're talking about going back to Eve, man. They, they and that's, uh, that's how our people always were. They, they, Envy what the other nations had was that which was what the ability to, to go off, uh, you know, to, to do whatever they want. They didn't have the law, statutes, and commandments, they didn't have a, a way that the most high commanded them to be. Right. They could just do whatever they want, they do as thou will. And and you know, Eve saw that and then she she wanted that, right. you know, and that's that's how our people were going through. You read through the scriptures, they they, they see the, the, the heathen, they would you know, to worship idols and right. do this, do that. Oh, I want to celebrate Christmas. You know, oh, I want to celebrate birthday. I want to, you know, I want to do child sacrifice. Right. I want to get into horror stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sacrifice and that's why our scripture say, uh, "Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways." You know, and not going back to Eve for what she caused. You know, right. they have to come in the world. Right. The Lord told us not not to follow after follow after these nations for a reason, man. For we, for we won't die. For we won't go out, go into their ways, serve their gods, man. Lord, Lord always, always knew that, man. He had it like that for a reason. That's why he told us when we go into the lake, he told us to kill their ass, man. Right. Get rid of their ass. Don't give your sons to their daughters. Don't give your daughters to their Don't, don't do nothing with these evils. Right. This could be a, a snare unto you. I got it right. Deuteronomy 7 and 1, when the Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou, and when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, Thou shalt smite them, and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Right, so the Lord, the Lord just said that they don't, they, they just don't deal with it, man. They don't deal with them at all. He said kill them. Right. Hey, don't right. show no mercy. Because the most high don't see heathen, they are nothing in his sight. Right. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee utterly, uh, thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, man. 
Hey, this is Dorsa, don't, don't get, don't, don't send your sons or daughters next to them, man. So what is that gonna, what is that, what is that gonna cause? Why you, why you, why you, why you don't do this? Why don't you do that? Why you don't eat pork? Right. You know, why you don't, why you don't commit a dodge? Why you don't do this? Why not? Just, just try it. Then they go get in that shit, and then they go get dusk in that, man. But, 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 but basically, when you go around here, they know, they keep jabbing at your morality. You know, keep jabbing at That's what happened to Samson. The bitch kept, you know, hitting that all. Oh, you know, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me. Oh, okay. Right. She was a heathen, man. That's what they do. I ain't supposed to be laid up, little talking with a bitch. Especially a young heathen bitch. Right. Like that. That's what happened to King Solomon. And I don't know if y'all mentioned King Solomon. No, nah, we didn't mention. But that, that's what that's what he did. Mm -hmm. Now you can you can have concubines of other nations, women. You know, but you're just supposed to pop them and keep it moving. Yep. You ain't supposed to be treating them like that's your like yeah. your wife, wife. Like you treat an Israelite woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. you having uh you know you getting all involved with her family and shit, going to family events. Yeah, right. You know you 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 getting married and what. King Solomon was doing, he was he was marrying them according to the customs of, of their marriages. Like, you know, uh, when we marry, it's, it's according to the Israelite custom, according to our power. Right. You know, but they, when they play marriages, it be in, in the name of, of, of their idols. Yeah. yeah. That's a story because when you had said that, I was looking at the, book, the, 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 the verse 26 of Nehemiah. Uh, it's, uh, 13th chapter, but when you had mentioned Solomon, I was looking right at the verse 26, but I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it from 23. It says, In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. That made Nehemiah hot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but according to the language of each people, so it says, and I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them. I mean, he, he stopped putting hands on them. Why? Because they were raising their children up in, in so-called Japanese and so-called Chinese right. customs. Right. He wasn't, see, when he had the children, he wasn't teaching them Hebrew. They was teaching them they bullshit. Just like, uh, like today. today. They call it Americanized. Yeah. You got chicks that have come from Haiti. All right, the man came to Haiti back in 1968, right? And then uh, they had children. You know, when they came over to Haiti, they, they spoke Creole. They, you know, they they, they uh, kept the, you know, different customs and traditions that they did over there. They might not uh, eat certain foods, you know, listen to certain music, wear certain clothes, you know? But then they have children here, and then the children grow up in, in Esau's school system. You know, they even though they speak uh, Creole as their first language, they, that's what they talk to their parents, they learn English in, in school, and they start becoming Americanized, that's what you call second generation. Then third, they grow up and have children, you know, and, and, and then so forth so on. Before you know it, the first wave that came from Haiti, they dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you, you see these young uh, uh, Haitian children today, a lot of them don't speak Creole, they, they, don't, they don't know nothing about Haiti. Right. No, that's just that's just an example. That's what was going on back then. And also, that's how we were Hellenized. Well, exactly. Yeah. Well, Esau forced us, but after that, it's just a generation of, you know. Right. And it's a, it's a, the system runs itself. Well, that's why we got to get out of here because you, we truly can't serve the Lord like this, man. We need sanity. That's right. It said, uh, "I contended with them and cursed them." and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was, the no, was there no king like him, who was beloved of the Most High, of his power. The power made him king over Israel. Nevertheless, even did outlandish women cause to sin. You know that was fire. Yeah, they were bad as hell. He was getting best women from all over. Right. Making marriages with, with different uh, heathens. You know, because in the ancient world, you would have noble families into, you know, they would give their, their, their daughters to the king and, and make an alliance with them. With different resources and stuff like that. So 
so I can't believe he's married uh, Pharaoh's, one of his wife's Pharaoh's daughter. So, you know, he had the he was the best looking woman around. You know, so it goes to show you, give not that way unto um, um, women, the way that um, that destroyed kings won't be bad for you. You know, if you brothers know the script, uh, where is that? Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 31. Give not that strap out the woman. Uh, uh, that that destroy of kings. Uh, last verse, it says, Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil to transgress against our power in marrying strange wives? <laughs> Meaning the heathens. They were heathens. They had strange customs. For foreign unto ours. Right, they, they serve, they don't, we don't, we don't got the precept. Go ahead. Right, right. Go ahead. Proverbs 31, verse 3. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy, nor thy ways that which destroy of kings. Uh, that's it. That's it. It must be too much pillow talking, man. That's a while too, because I thought I knew what I said. Two, three, one. Right, because that, 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 that's the right example with Sodom, man. And it causes the door straight, man. They, the God that they have, they're not real, man. Okay, the gods and the, the idols, they, they, they're not real. Our, our, our only power is out by Shema Shai. And if we go search for that, we, we go get we go get fucked up, we go get in trouble with the Lord, man. Then now why, now why would we put, put ourselves in a situation like that, man? I got something for you. Psalm 115, verse 4. Their idols are silver and gold and the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have, they have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusts the people. Right. It's not working. It's just like a ma imaginary religion. They know that children make, you know, fucking idols. Just, just, just do some shit. Yeah. Play those. Cause, cause, yeah. Just make idols just to, just to, cause they, they're like, they're not sitting around doing nothing. They just make some shit. Like, like Dagon. Right. See, the, 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 the those hammers, they knew that Dagon, you know, when they took the ark, <laughs> they got to deliver them. <laughs> They got is the fish god, the fish god of the nasty ass Amites. <laughs> oh, uh, you finished for one? Yep. This is 1 Chronicles 16 and 25. For great is Yahweh and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Alright, the only true God is Yahweh by Shemesh. He made the heavens. He made everything. Not these, these bullshit that these nations keep making this shit, man. And it's, and it's always it's always another god, man. You, you stretch out how many gods there is in the world, it's probably like a hundred plus or something, man. Probably more than that. Right. Thousands. 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 Probably a thousand, man. Now who the, now, now, who the fuck is the, who the, who the, who the wrong one is, man? <laughs> well, it's good. You got a god of the sun, you got a god of this and a god of the statue. You got a god of green, you, you, know. you got a lightning, like all that Greek shit. Yeah. You know, where, where, are these, where are these gods coming from, man? <laughs> It's like, yeah, I know it's 2022. Everything's a fucking god. Right. Money, women, cars, clothes. Right. Clothes. Think about it. I mean, God's many and the Lord's many. But it's one true power. That's right. 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 Well, we know him. Right. The scripture said the Lord is not the author of confusion. Why would the Lord, you know, Lord not, not build on that? What is different? I don't think shit, man. Now why would the Lord make, why would the Lord, you know, have these other gods and shit when he's he the only one that's supposed to be uh, crazy and serve the person, man? Okay, that's why we tell our people to get away from that shit, man. That's right. You know, especially, especially if you're an Israelite, you know, so-called black, Latino, and Native American, you can turn to the true, 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 with one power, that's your Abba Shemel Shah. First Corinthians chapter 6 and 9, know ye not that the... Uh, so I can, uh, let's start down May 19th. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 15. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Hamashiach? Right. Shall I then take the members of Hamashiach and make them the members of an harlot? Most I forbid. 
What, know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, said he, shall be one flesh. For he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. So our bodies, we we are we have been purchased with the blood of Hamashiach. So, you know, Paul is using an analogy like it's, it's like a man, he, he marrying to a to a uh, a harlot, you know, a man and his wife, you become one flesh. That's that's you. Right. So you you marrying a harlot, a, a, a straight up hoe, you become you become one with a hoe. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So whatever demons and shit she's dealing with, they gonna jump on you. Yep. Which really is going into uh, that harlot would be uh, really it's talking about a, a false philosophy, all right, a, a, a false deity, a, a, a false way of life, a false religion. Okay. When, when these people that, that in these churches and these different forms of schools of thought, they become they become one with that shit. That's why you ever see anybody worshiping uh, uh, Cesar Borgia's uh, 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 worshiping so-called Jesus Christ. They most of them got real feminine spirit, yep. real bitch ass, yep. you know, sodomite spirit. Right. More like they don't have no beard on their face. More like they got a ball head, especially Jake. Right. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Cause you, 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 that, that spirit is jumping on you. Yeah, that's, yeah. You know? So, if, if you, you, when you come in to serve the Lord, you're supposed to be, how to spread all love, you're supposed to be a servant of the Lord. Yeah. But you're supposed to be his wife, okay? And you dealing with anything else, going to anything else, that's, that's fornication. That's right. That's why it says, verse 18, flee fornication, which is adultery. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. That's talking about, you know, uh, physical adultery, right? But more so uh, spiritually, you know? You, you sinning against your soul, your own body, because the Lord created your body to be a temple of the Lord, which is going to go into verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are... The most high. That's why you can't serve anything. The most high. The most high is a holy power. Man. He's a separatist. Mm -hmm. So he put his spirit, he wanted his spirit to dwell in a, 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 a clean vessel. Let me back you up right quick. I did a video earlier this week about, because I was listening to a song. I was listening to a song and listening to the niggas. But this is Jake. He was like, hey man, it's my life. I do what I want. And I automatically, I believe right after that, I had to put in my notes, like, hey, that doesn't go for Israel, all right? You don't do what you want. It's not your life. You don't do what you just want, man. You're a holy people. You have to live by laws and commandments and statutes, all right? These other nations, these other heathens, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, it's their life. They can do whatever the fuck they want. But you, you can't, all right? You can't eat certain shit. You can't do certain shit. Why? Because you're a chosen people. You belong to the Lord, all right? Most part, that's where that's, that's, that's where Jake getting really confused right there. Because they're watching these other nations and thinking they and they find they think they're supposed to just do what they want to do. Right. You know, but if they're reading the scriptures, that's why the scripture says blessed you that read it, man. If they if they're reading the scriptures, they don't know. So they were supposed to fall out of the way to the heathens. You know? Yep. They think they're supposed to free. Oh, I can just go ahead and eat the pepperoni pizza. I'm good. They've been thinking about that. Right. But there's laws written that you don't supposed to do that. The people on this side don't supposed to do that because why? You are set apart people. You are holy people. You got laws, statutes, and commandments that you're supposed to live by, right? So that's that's where Jake getting confused. Jake is straight up. Jake, Jake, Jake got like some children. Oh, why, why I can't do it? He can do it. That's what Jake. That's what type of spirit Jake be in, man. You know why I can't do it? He's able to do it. Right. Scriptures speak about that. They're not putting a difference between the holy and the profane. That's where the problem lies. They're not putting a difference. You gotta have standards, man. Even in the world, if you don't, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Right. So you gotta have a standard, man. You can't just eat anything you want. <laughs> you know? No. The can do that. Right. <laughs> they don't have a law. <laughs> you know? They don't, they don't, they don't belong to them, but right. they, they just, they just here. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Israel, Israel, you're the Lord's firstborn, idiot. <laughs> All right? You can't just do anything. You, you're the Lord's child, man. I got, I got a son for Iraq. This is Jeremiah 62. You know, because, hey, man, 
And we're the Lord firstborn, we're the Lord's child, and also, man, we're the Lord's wife, man. All right? Israel, like I'm about to read it, uh, Jeremiah 62, you got that wrong. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Right. You know, and, as, and as the wife of Yahweh Shemar Shai, we don't we don't play the hardest, man. Okay, our, our people, we don't we made a special adultery. We don't see Yahweh Shemar Shai, man. We can tell you that in Jeremiah the third chapter. You know, Israel had played the hardest. And how, and how did they do that? You know, by uh, serving these different gods and going, and going into these different philosophies, man. And the Lord didn't set up, you know, for us, man. He said, uh, the Lord showed, showed his word unto Jacob. Okay, in Psalm 147. You know, he didn't he say he showed it unto, unto, uh, unto Boab and Esau. No, man, unto Jacob. You know, so called blacks, like, you know, the Native Americans. You know, and, 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 and if our people continue to play the heart, and most of just going to start killing people, man. Look, in that Psalm 147, in the last verse he says, I have not dwelt with any other nation. Okay. Alright? <laughs> so it's only for you, Jake. It's only for you to be those that you know the name of You visualize. Psalm chapter 147, start verse 19. Said he saw his word unto Jacob, his statues, and his judgment unto Israel. I'm gonna read it again. This is Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. He saw his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgment, stock his statues and his judgment unto Israel. He didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing about the heathen. No. Uh, verse 20, he had, he had not dealt so with any nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. They pray to Jesus the Lord. The Lord ain't the Lord ain't the Lord. The Lord ain't the Lord. The Lord ain't the Lord. The Lord the you know, but you don't, you don't build this nation how you do with this, man. You belong to the Lord, man. Uh, we, got this, we got this for you. Amos chapter 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought you up, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. But the only nation that the Lord really dealt with. You know, so, so if we do some shit wrong, if we fuck up, the Lord's going to judge us for that, man. Sure. Why, do think, why do you think the Lord put curses on us, man? Can these, these, do, do these other fucking heathens look like they're the curses, man? <laughs> they, 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 just, they just living life. They, you know? they enjoying life. But the nation of Israel, what you say, they're they at the bottom. Okay, Jake, Jake suffering, Jake got sickness and shit. Because we was disobedient and the Lord only deals with us like that, man. Okay, if you got a child and they fuck up, you go beat your child, right? I mean, that's a true, that's a true parent. You know, you go beat your child, and that's, and that's what the Lord did with the children of Israel. Right. If your, your child do something at school, right, with some other jits, they both get in trouble. <laughs> you gonna beat the other jit too? Okay. Or you gonna beat yours? Right. Right, because your child is supposed to know better. Like our people, they're supposed to know better, man. Fuck, they're fucking with the jits, man. They, you know, they, don't, they don't care about that, man. Fuck the kids. You're going to be who you're responsible for. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I got to say that real quick. Focus shot. You know, group four and verse, I don't know, you got to have to read it. Group four and five. Yeah, well, group four and six. You are sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. Right, right. We sold into these different nations. We went and we went in these different captivities and shit. You know, ain't no honey. Ain't no, I don't feel like, they're like, they're like that with these demons, man. No, no, no. No, they ain't delivered more. I've been to some, to some random, random cap, captivity and shit, man. He ain't delivered. He, but he, he's not going to go into slavery. Okay, but... You know, Esau ain't really been to nothing for it, man. Okay, like like Israel, man. Because we belong to the Lord. We were selling to these nations because we fucked up. We were disobedient. If, if the Edomite, if the Edomite eat, uh, the, uh, if eat pork, ain't nothing gonna happen to him, man. The Lord don't care about him. Say, all right, now let, 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 it, let it Israelite eat pork. You know, then, then the Lord will fuck him up. Him or her up, man. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. 
and my people shall never be ashamed. Right, my people, your God, these are possessive words, man. Okay, meaning what? The Lord is, is, is possessive of Israel. You know, when, when for example, when the Lord is talking to Israel, who, who are you saying? His prophets. Oh, oh, children of Israel, oh, Israel, Judah. Okay, so he's, he's talking to a specific nation, man. Okay? When, when, when the Lord is, is, is uh, trying to get on the nation, gets on us. The Lord don't send prophets with fucking Edomites and shit, man. Tell the Edomites, repent, turn, turn back to me. You don't do that. You just tell them that you're going in slavery. Right, that's that. <laughs> so you tell them the judgment. We're going to tell them to repent, turn, turn back to you. What, what are they repenting for? Right, they don't have law, statute, and commandments. Right. You don't know, you know, you know. Right, they can't. He's just here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, right. We are both, we are both all, the, all these nations on the earth, man. As you, as you can clearly see, we're the best in the sports, we're the best in the music, dancing, creating trends, everything. Everything, man. Yeah, whatever, what they have, whatever you don't think probably created by Jake, it was created by Jake. <laughs> he saw a thief. Yeah, he saw the biggest thief. Thief, man. <laughs> All right. Take the potato chips. Who else, who else knows that he's definitely a vintage house creator that he saw stole, man? I actually, I actually got one more time. I lost one. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 40, Second Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creations, like thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, who the Lord chose. The Lord chose these specific people. Right. And all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right. Right? Israel. <laughs> you know, and, you know, the Lord made the world for our sake, the Israelites. Right. Yeah. Who the promises and the covenants for, man? For Israel. That's right. Verse, 50, verse 56 is the point. And so I as for the other people which also come from Adam. Right. And the Lord don't even give a fuck about them. He said the, the other people, man. <laughs> Like, uh, they, they like, you know how you're describing a uh, group, group of people like, yeah, yeah. damn, you know, him and him, yeah, you know, them other niggas, you know, they <laughs> don't care about you, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, you know, that's probably that's Johnny, uh, 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 what, what, what's his name, uh, I don't know, he's just here, niggas don't matter. Right. Well, it, it continues on, which also, which also comes from Adam, that has said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and it has, it has like it. The abundance of them are two, a drop that falls from the vessel. Right. You no, know, Lord has a chosen, the Lord has a chosen line, man. Okay. You got Shem. Okay. They, they, they go down the line. You got what uh, our fact said. You know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. You know, so Lord always had, had always had his chosen. You know? He always had his, spe his special ones, and he always cared about them. Man. That's right. That's right. That family line, baby. This is a family team. It's a family thing, baby. It's a Malachi 3 and 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right. The sons of Jacob, the sons of Jacob, so my blacks not seeing the eternity. So they're so they're not so they not consumed, man. Okay, the Lord loves us, man. You know, oh yeah, the Lord fuck us up, but the Lord loves us as a nation he does, man. Okay, that's why he keeps that's why he get on us so much. That, and that's how the Lord works. Tough love, man. Yep. Okay, that's why we so fucked up. The Lord ain't care about us. He wanna just you know, let us do whatever we want. He wanna let us ain't work. He wanna let Jake, you know, have all the money and, and all this bullshit, you know. But he, but he does certain things in a way so that we don't, you know, continue in them. Okay, but we can stop it. Like, okay, shit, you know, as a nation we fucked up. Okay, we gotta turn back to the Lord. Okay, because the Lord is beating our ass for a reason. And then they hit us. Uh, and the Lord always had it like that. But for us, you know, to turn it back into Him. You know, because we belong to the Lord, and He wants us to turn it back into Him. Yeah? You know, He said His prophet saw He sent His man out for a reason. That's an act of love, though. Somebody telling you to stop or you're going to die. Love, man. Father's telling you to stop doing what you're doing or you're going to die. 
Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, beginning at verse 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. But what nation is there so great, who hath the Most High so near unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou, least thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and least thou depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that the Lord stood us before, the Lord thy power in Herod, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me, the people, together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. And at the end of the day, the Lord give us this word, you know, to have that wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, man. Glorify the Lord, all right? And, and for us to teach our children. We're supposed to teach our children our children's children, you know? So at the end of the day, man, the word that the Lord says the commandments will be given unto us. That's why we can't do what everybody else can do. We can't go around eating lizards and stuff. Okay, raccoons and, you know what I'm saying? We can't do that. We have a law that speak against that. Okay? You have to put a difference between the clean and the unclean. All right? So that's just the way it is, man. We got to follow, follow the laws. Okay, rehearsing the righteous acts, right? In the land of our captivity. Right, got it. And that, and, that, and that should separate, separate, separate us you know, from, our, from the different healing, man. Because we, we live by, uh, by a set of rules, the law says commandments given to us by Yahweh Shem El Shai. You know, if the Lord didn't give that, it could have been like the heathens, man. Okay, doing whatever, doing whatever, doing whatever we want. They don't, they don't follow nothing, man. And if they do follow it, then if they, they do follow something, it's, a, it's an idol. Okay, holy means separate. Okay, we are, when you say we are holy people, Uh, right, yeah, cool. right, so this, this, this is the, the word of the Lord. Man. This is the, the, 
This is the book of life, okay? This is what we're preaching you, the words of life. And if you don't repent, the most High gonna put you to death, man. Okay, it's as simple as that, man. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, the law and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. That's plain, man. Okay, and the majority of people, they done, they done left it, man. You know, and, and it shows how the, and it shows how the, how the way they live, man. They're not, they're not talking about listening to the prophets. They're not trying, they're not trying, trying to uh, get, get the truth at all. They're not trying to keep the law such a commandment. So they completely left, completely left this book, man. They completely turned, as I said, they went, they went backwards, man, as a nation, man. Okay, this is, this is what brings us back to the Lord. And if you're not Closer to this, then you're you going farther abroad, man. Right? And, and the Lord don't fuck with that, man. If you continue doing that, hey, the Lord got, got judgments trapped, man. Best believe, man. These famines, these, these, uh, these famines, these, uh, Jacob's trouble, okay? You know, people killing each other, robbing, you know, you know, doing all that, man. All that is coming because you know, you don't left, you don't left the Lord, man. Okay, so with that. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to our cause, another is a great millstone. And unto the elect, we say Shalom. Shalom. Baba Baba. Baba Baba.